Just got myself one of these um, induction heaters for loosening bolts. Um, just had enough of uh, drilling bolts out and messing around with blow torches and that. Anyway, um, here it is. Just turned up. Put on the plastic. I'm holding the video camera so you have to excuse the crap filming. There it is. Warning. <laughs> Don't use it if you've got a pacemaker. Uh, do, do not block airflow vents. Airflow vent. Airflow vent. Um, unlock lock. Well, ones I've seen usually got these on the internet. They've got these screwing things to hold the end in. So, um, looks like this hasn't got it. It's just a twist lock. Right. I haven't got any really, really, really seized bolts, but I have got these scaffold fittings, which are like. Up, so let's try it. Hang on, let's hold this under my chair. I don't know if it's going to come out. Get that wire off. I made sure this one had a 240 volt plug because I didn't want to be um, messing around with those Chinese things. Right, there's 30 seconds. Let's see how that goes. I mean, like I say, this thing isn't mega seized up, but it's tight. Oh, no way. That, that is like. Oh, sorry, my filming. Well, look. Simple pimple. Um, tank I had to take out of a Hilux and um, there was a oh, the guard plate on it and all that right I'm pushing on that I can just feel that turning so let's see let's try 20 seconds one, one thousand, two, one thousand, 
Well, that's 20 seconds. Huh. Look at that. Yeah, like I say, I had the Hilux and it would, I just couldn't get the bolts undone and I ended up screw, drilling them out with cobalt drill bits, uh, taking the plate down, welding nuts on the back of the plate. For new bolts to go in, it took me two days. If I'd had this thing, it'd been like, well, I'm sure I could have got most of them out, no problem. Um, yeah, if you want, you got a load of uh, bolts that are stuck, then this is the kitty. I, I, I see people on there like um, getting these things like red hot red hot like glowing you, you you don't need to be doing that in fact you don't want to be doing that because um if you look on the head of a bolt it'll be tempered and some bolts are actually tempered for the, the job they're doing and if you heat them up too much it's it's not good for them it changes the temperance of the steel I mean, that's not probably a very technical description of it, but don't get it hotter than you need to, really. Um, yeah, I got this off of eBay. It cost me £179 delivered, and there's eight bits. Now, these, you can you can buy these ends separately, um, but I'm pretty sure it's just wire. And if you had some... Something that was heat resistant, wrap around it, stop, stop it conducting. I'm pretty sure you can make your own. Let's I'll try and make a video of that. Okay, um, yeah, hope that helps someone. Cheers.